Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to study about Citizenship Act Part 2. So in the part 1 we discussed that how one can acquire citizenship by birth. That is that that person should be born in India. Okay. Now if that person, if that child is not born in India and if he wants to acquire the citizenship of India, how that is done? So that can be done through descent. So that's what we are talking about. We will be knowing about uh, that is citizenship, getting citizenship by descent. So in the first part, in the first part, we talked about we talked about in the first part. I'm sorry. So in the first part, we talked about getting citizenship by birth. That is, you are born in India. And then there were many provisions talking about the nationality of your parents. Nationality of parents. Okay. So that we have done in part one by birth. Now in this part, in part two, we will be talking about citizenship by descent. What do you mean by this? This means that you are not born in India. But you are born outside India. In some foreign place you have place. Your birth took place. Okay. So after your birth, you want to get citizenship of India. Citizenship of India. So how you can get that citizenship? That is through descent. Okay. So here also we will be having some kind of cases. And these cases are A. If you are born between 26th of January 1950 from 26th of January 1950 to 10th of December 1992 this is the first case okay and then the second case is B from 10th of December 1992 okay till 3rd of December 2004 and then the third case is from 3rd of December 2004 till date. Okay, now why these date? Why these date? If you have watched my previous video, you will be guessing it right. It's because an amendment took place here. An amendment took place here. Similarly, an amendment took place here also. During 2003, an amendment was being brought. In 1992, an amendment was being brought. So because of these amendments, we are restricting the dates. Okay, so these are the three cases. Now let's talk about these cases. If you are born in between 26th of January 1950 to 10th of December 1992, then we only check the nationality. We only check the nationality of your father. If your father is a, cit is a citizen of India, then you can be a citizen of India by descent even though you're not born in, in india but if your father is a citizen of india at the time of your birth you can be a citizen of india by descent now uh, in 1992 an amendment was being brought and a provision was being inserted into the citizenship rules to give men and women equality we are only talking about the father what have happened about the mother the mother is equally responsible to give you birth and she is more responsible i think she she should be respected more because she is the one who nurtures you so uh, looking at the equality and in order to give equality to men and women amendment was being brought in 1992 and uh, for the, uh, with that amendment a provision was being added that either of the parent either of your parent you know your father can be a citizen or can be a citizen 
or your mother can be citizen then or then you can claim citizenship by descent see in the first case only father even if the mother is citizen of india but father is not citizen of india see mother is citizen of india but father is not citizen of india you can't claim citizenship by descent in the first case so this was being rectified this was being amended and then they said that if mother is you know citizen of india and father is not still then you can get it you can get the citizenship if mother is not citizen but father is citizen still then you can get it and if both if mother and father both are citizen then also you can get the citizenship so either of the parents are citizen then also then you can get citizenship by descent now in 2003 another amendment was being made to citizenship act and that came into effect from 3rd of december 2004 and it is till date it's holding on the ground okay what does it say that if you're born okay if you if you have born you have taken birth you know so within one year okay your parents should register you you at indian consulate ye karna hi padega okay plus we all ye pehli wali condition to hold true hi karti hai that father and mother dono mein se either of the parent is citizen of india okay so that is within one year and agar if it is more than one year if it is after one year then uh, parents must get permission from permission of central government okay if within one year they register you so they have to register you with indian consulate after one year they have to get the permission of the central government okay so uh, with this application of registration with this application of registration which they are providing to the indian consulate of registration which they are providing to the indian consulate okay they have to give uh, undertaking also that you don't hold don't hold citizenship of another country of another country and if you hold a citizenship of another country then you have to renounce that citizenship within 6 months else your citizenship indian citizenship will be cancelled okay so this was the case so this uh, let's revise it we were talking about by descent if you're not born in india still then you want the citizenship of india so there were three cases the first case was if you are born between 26th of january 1950 to 10th of december 1992 only your father if only your father is citizen of india only and only if your father is citizen of india then only you can be citizen of india by descent you can claim citizenship by descent that is your father can claim okay if you are born in between 10th of december 1992 to 3rd of december 2004 then either of your parents so it talks about the equality of the parent mother and father were given equal grounds okay so if they are citizen of india you can be citizen of india by descent even though you're not born in india and after 3rd of december either of your parents should be citizen of india plus if within within one year of your birth they have to get you registered with the indian consulate and if they are registering you after one year of your birth then they should get permission of the central government so with the application of registration they should give an under undertaking that you don't hold citizenship of another country and if you as, as a minor if you hold citizenship of another country 
you must renounce that citizenship within within six months else your indian citizenship will be cancelled so thank you this was the second part of uh, getting acquiring citizenship by reason look for the third part which talks about getting citizenship by registration thank you